there it goes it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous over the dot beautiful day here in hell uh, we are in New York City baby and uh, my little robot is telling me we have a 46 minute slowdown I, I'm getting the sick feeling I am being routed back over the George Washington Bridge. Uh, trying to, everything I tried to do yesterday was avoiding the George Washington Bridge and uh, got sent over it and now it looks like I'm going back over the George Washington Bridge. Who knows? I am on one of the lifelines of the global industrial economy. This is uh, I-95 in New York City, baby. And I can't think of a better place than I-95 to, uh, d d you know, just point out how we're so doomed. Uh, you know, sometimes you can sit there, I guess, if you live under a rock uh, and you can play around on your little computer and read all of this crap about how we're getting off of fossil fuels and that we are, <laughs> you know, we're just going to tweak this and tweak that. Uh, dig up a little bit of lithium and cobalt, make a few batteries, and uh, instead of squirting fossil fuels through all these gas-sucking cars and trucks, we'll just, I don't know, we'll just plug them into batteries, we'll just make a few tweaks, and we're going to go right along of, about our business. Uh, just right along about our business and we don't need to you know we don't we're gonna have to let go of the fossil fuels guys trade it for uh, lithium and cobalt Jesus uh, oh, you know this is well, I mean, it's a big road, uh, I-95 South through New York City isn't just any road, but, you know, on, on one level, this is one road on the planet. This is not rush hour, by the way, it's mid-morning, it's about 10.30 in the morning. Uh, this is just... You know, a regular 10.30, it is a Thursday morning, it is... September 14th, 2023, just a gorgeous September morning in hell, and uh, this is just what we've created. This is what we have created. This is the mess we have gotten ourselves into. We are not getting out of this mess. Uh, <laughs> This, this was a one-way mess. Well, I mean, it's, uh, I, I guess it, it is a bottleneck. There. I am still sticking to the, uh, to the, the bottleneck model uh, that unfortunately humans are not going to go extinct. But, uh... <laughs> it ain't gonna look like this on the other side of the bottleneck. Uh, big question, what is it going to look like on the other side of the bottleneck? Uh, just look at this. Just... This, you know, this this is just humans. This is this is uh, it, it's humans doing what humans do. Like what I am doing today is uh, hauling this trailer 
of stuff back to Bugs in a Jar Farm. My buddy told me to come get it. He's cleaning out his parents' old house and said, come get it. So uh, we have a trailer full of more stuff for Bugs in a Jar Farm. Got some very nice patio furniture for Sea House, for Seahorse. Got a lot of nice garden tools and always use gardening tools here in the collapse of everything. I'll have a comfortable place to sit on my lawn and uh, whack zombies upside the head with my new flat shovel. Oh boy. I mean, the, the, this, this world is so, I, I mean, completely unprepared for, uh, <laughs> oh, God, I'm going to be like those people in Derma, uh, where was that, Libya? We're going to be like those people in Derma, Libya. Waking up one morning with that big surprise look at uh, on our face that that dam collapsed. That dam we call global industrial civilization. It did collapse, and not looking pretty. Anyway, guys. Just, just get out there and enjoy being part of this, uh, <laughs> being part of this because it cannot, it cannot continue. <sighs> this one has uh, reached the end of its shelf life. go take a long last look folks before it all says bye bye okay, I'm getting ready to do say bye bye pay attention to my driving get me back to bugs in a jar farm what the hell is this going on up on this bridge what in the hell is that? Oh, that's something to do with Greg Abbott's migrants, I bet. That looked like a, uh, that was a very bizarre. Ha! Huh. I should stop and pick up some of those migrants. Got some work for them at Bugs in a Jar Farm. I keep telling Greg Abbott to send some of those folks to Ithaca. They just won't listen to me. That was that was spooky though. I, that, that, that's got to be what that was. Anyway, yep, they're coming for you. I need to pay attention to my driving. My gosh.